back with another YouTube video. Do you guys like my new intro? I personally kind of like it. Today I'm going to be doing a really bad art tutorial because I was my plan this weekend was to make a softball get ready with me because I was supposed to have a tournament this weekend, but got rained out. <laughs> so I'm just going to be doing a really terrible art tutorial because why not? So my only camp film shout out for this video is to Nico Palm Tree. I finally shouted out your YouTube channel. If you guys want to shout out, just comment down below hashtag campfam. I can shout you guys out more than once. So yeah, make sure you have subscribed and liked this video for more content like this. And I will be showing you the supplies that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Not my so the things I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a toothbrush. Make sure it's a, a not a used one because that's weird. Um, the colors I used to make this, um, hang on, it's still kind of drying so I need to like be careful. Alright, um, to get this color, hang on, let me fix my lighting again. To get this color, I used a combination of crimson and red paint. Burnt Sienna, Yellow Orchid, and White paint. And I'm going to be using this size brush. It already has a bunch of paint on it. And I'm also going to be using my paint palette. And, of course, I'm probably going to be using different size brushes, too. But I think I'm going to be using this one to make the clouds on my ukulele pick. I'm also going to be using a hairdryer to speed up the drying process because it's taking forever. Alright, so I'm back. And it's all dry now. So now I'm going to be doing the back side, which has the logo on it. I'm not sponsoring this company. But yeah, that's where I got the pick from. So I'm just going to be using... Alright. So now I'm going to build... Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be... <coughs> I'm going to be painting the back side now. Hopefully y'all can see this, but like here's my ukulele pick and here's the back of it. So now I'm just going to be taking my brush with my paint and um, move that brush out of the way. Gosh. No! Freaking! Oh my god. I need to cut my nails. Okay. So I just need to paint this on. It doesn't need to look good because I'm going to be doing another layer. The second layer needs to look good though. But it does need to look even. Because I need to do two layers to make it opaque and to cover up the logo. The paint is not totally dry yet, but here's both sides are pretty opaque now. And I washed my brush, so now I'm going to be um, using the, um, the white paint. I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. And first, before I put on the, the clouds, I'm going to be putting on like little s stars. Okay, here's a better view of this. So here's my thing, and here's my palette. You just dip the toothbrush in the white paint. And then when you're putting on the thing, you just go like that. Make little stars and you can turn it around. Oh. <laughs> and repeat. So my next step is I'm going to take this brush with my excess white paint, making sure you can see this. So I'm just going to dip my brush in the white paint. Don't get like just on the tip, just like lightly dab the paint onto the paintbrush. Just dab the paint for a texture and to actually add some cool 
need to make a purple, so let's make a purple. So for the purple, I'm actually gonna use my excess pink that I have. I'm just gonna make it a bit lighter to start off with. Taking this color, it's Coblat Blue. I'm not even sure I pronounced that correctly. Okay, so here's my clouds and here's my purple paint. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be adding some realness to the clouds, I guess. So we're gonna dab a bit of the purple paint onto the clouds for some nice shading. Just like barely dip the purple in on your brush and do the bottom and slowly go up to the top and not as much top on the bottom. Don't put as much top on the bottom. I mean, <laughs> don't put as much purple on the top. Just put a little more on the bottom and then slowly start going up. To create some nice shaded clouds and then take um that little extra pink and barely dip it for some added texture and then you can cover it back up if you don't like it with the purple. And just going to add your design and then you know, it's really good if you ask me. So just dip and then get back in the middle. And yeah, okay, and then if you need to, you can clean this brush and then dip it back in the white to make it more white. But here is the clouds from a close-up view maybe if it focused but yeah it looks a lot better than when it's not on camera so i'm gonna clean my brush real quickly so here's um a better view on the back camera i was using the front camera before so it's better for me to see it but like here is the progress i really like the texture on the cloud so far you can see I have a lot of paint on my hands and stuff but <clears throat> I'm just gonna oh okay I didn't take the paint good okay now I'm just gonna repeat on the other side so I'm gonna put this in time lapse <laughs> Okay, and to finish it all off, I'm going to take my toothbrush again with my excess white paint, maybe. And put the stars on again. I need some new white paint. There we go. There we go. So that is how I do my tutorial on how to do or how to paint a ukulele chip or it could be a guitar chip pick. I don't know why I said chip, but yeah, I really like it. I really like this side better than this side. What do you guys think? Do you like this side better or this side better? One, two. One, two. Uh, <laughs> wait, not for that to fully dry. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you liked this video for more content like this. Now I need to do my thumbnail real quickly. So then I can have a nice, beautiful Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!